In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, a very hearty welcome to this Eucharist. Every Eucharist is the banquet of love. Jesus is the embodiment of love, he is the epitome of love. He not only gave us the commandment to love one another, he has also showed and fulfilled the commandment by laying down his life for all of us, to the entire humanity. In and through his service and sacrifice, Jesus invites all of us to love one another. Loving one another is the invitation to the path of holiness, to the life of sanctity. Thanking God for the beautiful Christian occasion that each one of us as Christians received, let us continue to live this occasion and commitment to love all people irrespective of all differences, to love everyone as each one of us love ourselves. Time and again we have failed in order to love others. Let us acknowledge our sinfulness and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess it's to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy. Yeah. 
let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Paul and Barnabas returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch, strengthening the souls of the disciples, encouraging them to continue in the faith, and saying that through many tribulations we must enter the kingdom of God. And when they had appointed elders for them in every church with prayer and fasting, they committed them to the Lord in whom they had believed. Then they passed through Pestidia and came to Pamphylia. And when they had spoken to the word in Perga, they went down to Atalia. And from there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commanded to the grace of God for the work that they had fulfilled. And when they arrived and gathered the church together, they declared all that God had done with them and how he had opened a door of faith to the Gentiles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bless your name forever, my King and my God. I will bless.
A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bridge, adorned for a husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people. And God himself will be with them as they go. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall no more. Neither shall they be mourning, nor crying, nor pain or any more, for the former things have passed away, and he who was seated for the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Gospel acclamation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Judas had gone out from the upper room, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and glorify him at once. Little children, yet a little while I am with you. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. By this all people know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today the Universal Church is rejoicing at the canonization of 10 blessed men and women being elevated to sainthood. Here the Church of India, especially in Tamil Nadu, that celebrates with exuberance receiving the saint in the person of Deva Sahayam Pillai, who is the first Indian lay martyr. He is the first Indian martyr, the first Tamil saint, the first Indian layman to be canonized. 
it is indeed seen as a great revival a great strength a moment of growth for the church in india it is indeed an extraordinary day to see how the church has reaped the fruits of holiness the fruits of the virtues of love faith and hope and the spiritual integrity who is a saint what makes a saint a saint is someone who loves as christ calls us to love as christ himself loves us and today's gospel reading brings the same message to us the new commandment just as i have loved you you also love one another if we want to understand christian love we have truly only to look at jesus life and actions in the first and foremost place and that's how in his parting words to the disciples the focus of jesus is not on the past failures or the future mistakes of the disciples but indeed jesus is preparing them for the things to come and jesus demonstrates his love to the same disciples who will fail him miserably he is feeding and washing the feet of the disciples judas who is going to betray him peter who is going to deny him and the other disciples who are failing jesus in the most important hour of his distress so the love that jesus demonstrates for his disciples is not based on the merit of his recipients even though they fail him jesus continues to love them this same love that jesus invites all of us to show to one another on one hand we see loving one another means it is to serve one another even in the most menial tasks on the other hand it is also the heroic acts of great risk even to the point of laying down one's own life and that's how jesus made it very clear it is not by our theological correctness or by our moral purity nor by our impressive knowledge that everyone will know that we are christians but quiet simply by our loving acts of service and sacrifice and that's how we can manifest the love of god to the world that is being found in jesus christ when we speak about the new commandment it is so simple enough even a little child can understand and at the same time it is challenging enough that no mature christian can ever claim to have obeyed it fully and that's how the new commandment is very positive and open ended rather than focusing on you shall not you shall not it is you shall in the old testament when we see the commandments they were very specific but the new commandment is very broad and we see that we can never claim full compliance because there is no end to the requirement there is always need for more love in the old commandments we seen the people followed those commandments with the bookkeeper's mindset it will not happen with the new commandment and that's how the focus of the new commandment loving one another is on the loving action rather than the feelings 
we also seen the early church grew far and wide immediately after the resurrection so we see it was partly because of the powerful witness of the christian love tertullian in his apology he writes how people other people in other words the pagans they said see how they love one another see how they love one another and it is so true it is difficult not to respond to the loving invitation to the witness of a loving person so ignoring this new commandment is not an option at all that's how saint paul warns us in his letter first letter to corinthians chapter 13 verses 1 to 3 if i speak with the languages of men and angels and i don't have love i have become a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal if i dole out all my goods to feed the poor and if i give my body to be burned but i don't have love it profits me nothing my dear friends love reveals the new heaven and the new earth we heard in today's second reading that god is going to bring upon each one of us this new heavens and the new earth love is the gateway love is the entry into the new jerusalem love makes all things new love is both the means and the goal that has no ending and a destination that has no fixed point i remember a conversation between silovan the athanite a monk of the mount athos and a certain hermit the hermit declared with a certain evident satisfaction that god will punish all atheists he will put all of them in the everlasting fire saint silovan he was upset obviously and he started dialoguing with this hermit he said tell me supposing you went to paradise and from there you looked down and saw someone burning in the fire would you feel happy then the hermit replied of course it can't be helped it would be their own fault and with the sorrowful countenance saint silovan says love could not bear that love could not bear that he said that and he says we must pray for all we must pray for all and that's how my dear friends the mark of christ's disciples is not how and what we believe it is how we love one another love is the commitment love is the attachment and loyalty to one another that is to be embodied and enacted in concrete ways in today's world in our own lives in the most ordinary situations in our families in our workplaces we need to manifest these concrete expressions and acts of love it could be continuous days and months and years at times to hold on to the dear one our own family member it could be to hold on to their hands who are bedridden who are sick and suffering it could be to patiently endure and joyfully to exercise the acts of love in the family as a mother as a father and as children and in the church the priests the bishops the religious with 
the extra embodiment of love that what Jesus has showed us, truly we can make this earth and a new earth, a place where all can belong, a place where everyone can joyfully participate in the gift of life that God has given to each one of us. My dear friends, we see that the new commandment is indeed a joyful commandment that Jesus has given to each one of us to serve one another, to make the little sacrifices. And that's what we see in our Indian saint. Deva Sahayam Pillai, he was not a mediocre Catholic. He was a hundred percent Catholic. He gave himself totally to proclaim Christ, even in his sufferings. He was not a Catholic for his lifetime. Just for seven years, he was a Catholic, though he was a Hindu, and he converts himself to Christianity and underwent all the persecutions and sufferings. He was called a traitor. He was tried for treason and all types of punishments were given to him. But everything he endured with patience and by the gift of love that he had experienced. In a very special way, in his own manifestation, he says, it is this God to whom I belong. It is this God whom I'm going to worship and I'm going to live in my life. And we see that in and through his life witness, he brings in his own family, his friends towards the Christian faith. And by discovering the loving God, he endures everything. And today, the universal church, the Indian church, and the church in Tamil Nadu celebrates with exuberance the elevation of this blessed Devasayam Pillai as Saint Devasayam Pillai. So, in and through the invitation of today's readings, the Word of God, in and through the canonization ceremony that we have witnessed, the church is inviting and asking each one of us that how we can proclaim Christ to others. It is only by our love. It is only by our love that we can show to others that we are Christians. See how they love one another. See how they love one another. Amen. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty Creator of, of heaven and earth, and, earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, our Lord, Lord who was conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, crucified died, died, and was buried. He descended, he descended into hell. On the, On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From, from there, there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic, Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The prayers of the faithful. God has taught us to love one another. Out of love for all people, we now bring their needs before the Lord. The response shall be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the church and the leaders, our Holy Father, for Francis and all the bishops, priests and religious, throughout the world may follow the example of the apostles, growing in faith despite any kind of trial. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All those who aspire to public office, that they may learn that the true power is found in service, and the true wisdom is found in the word of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the world may see clearly the love we have for the poor, the sick, the oppressed, and the unborn. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for young people throughout the world that they may manifest God's goodness and love in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this time of worship. As you answer our prayers, deepen our love for you and one another. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. and sisters that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord be sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. O God who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, 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 Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of, full of your glory. Osana, 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 Osana to the Lord. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Osana in the highest. Osana to the Lord. Osana, 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 Osana to the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith We proclaim your death, O Lord Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, and all the bishops and the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Heavenly Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, please come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you now as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with the heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.
So